Hello, I am Donald Trump, a highly skilled professional in the spread of disinformation. This is the reason why the youth organization invited me here today. And I can't be bothered to speak for myself, so my assistant will speak for me. When Trump ran for president, he claimed that the US crime and murder rates had gone through the roof. While he was running for president, the FBI provided data showing that homicides had increased with 10.8% in one year. From 2015 to 2016, Trump twisted the results and said that they were the highest murder rates in 45 years, but that's false. This information is usually created when someone wants to pass over an opinion but doesn't have the right tools to do so. One can invent numbers, exaggerate them, distort them. This way, a lot of people will believe that the information they present is actually real. Trump took some FBI reports which said that the crime rates had the highest jump in a long time, but he used them to falsely claim that it was the highest murder rate in 45 years. In 1991, the crime rates spiked a lot. There were 758 violent crimes per 100,000 people. Since then, the rates had declined a lot, and it reached the lowest point in 45 years. There was a large jump in 2016, but it did not reach anywhere near what it was in 1991. Trump brags about the rates in 2017, while there wasn't a big difference with the rates from 2016, only a decline of less than 1%. Statistics are really important in our lives. Everyone makes really important decisions based on numbers online. If these numbers aren't correct, for whatever reason, people can make choices they would never support if they would know the truth. This is usually what the people spreading fake news want to achieve. They want you to believe something false because they know you would never support the truth. Because of Trump claiming that there is a lot of crime in the US and promising he will be able to change that, a lot of people probably voted for him while they actually didn't really want to. Fake news is a big part of society as it is right now. You always have to be careful with what you believe, especially on the internet. Anyone can just invent numbers that may seem real while they are actually completely fake. Make honesty great again.